Hey there YouTube, Jujango here and today I'm going to show you where some of the giant creatures in Fallout 4 are to help you get that uh, harder they fall sheet. And uh, the first one I'm going to cover is directly south of Sanctuary, just a little east of uh, Sunshine Tidings Co-op. This one is a super mutant behemoth. Now I've actually already killed this one and he respawned so you might be able to farm it if that's what you really need to do. There he is, look at him. Doesn't even know. Okay, the second behemoth on our list is even further south, and it's directly west of the Natick Town, I, I guess. It's at a, um. I guess you can call it a power relay station? Anyway, this behemoth will be fighting off these two. Uh, death claws. So if you're a low level, you might be able to hide and just kind of wait them out, and then pick off the behemoth from a distance. Our next behemoth is directly east of the Gunners Plaza, south of Shaw, southeast of Diamond City. Just so it helps y'all. I'm getting a little confused here. See, it's the third pond down. Our third water section down. You here now. There. Oh, this is going to be funny. Oh, ouch. Okay, so the final monitor queen on our list is a little bit obscure. It's directly southeast of the Gunners Plasma, southwest of the Wilson and Adam Toys factory. So, if you were watching, there was a uh, Mirelurk over here earlier, so you just go west. Okay, a little more to the west, though. Is a um, if you've done the main storyline, I did it with Minutemen. There's a checkpoint here, there's a little bog, like quite literally right about there. There's also a power suit there, uh, power armor there. So, what you can do is you can shoot at the Mirelet Queen. And just go west. There's the Crash Pelican. Minutemen, my Minutemen are there, and so is the Power Armor. So if you're level 40 plus, you might get an XO1 suit there. Next on our list is another Mirelet Queen. This one's located south of uh, the Makra Fish Packing. Directly west of the Rook family house, on the very northeast of the map, right here on this little, um, we'll call it a, a zit. Yeah, it's a zit. Right there. Okay, as a side note, the Rook family house here, if you do the quest there, you get Reba 2. So that's what it looks like. It comes with all the mods that are currently on it, so I haven't actually touched it. There she be. Look at that ugly fucker. Can't wait to blow it. Okay, so the last of the super mutant behemoths. Not the last, I apologize. There's another behemoth directly east of Vault 75. I'm gonna zoom in on that. There is a bobblehead in Vault 75 if you haven't gotten it yet. I don't remember which one it is. So it's. So if you don't know where this is, here's Vault 111. Got your little section over here. So a good way to remember this is it's between uh, the Vault and uh, the T here. Okay, so we're going to come up on this car, this little vehicle. There's going to be a Moon Jangles the Moon Monkey sitting in the seat. 
Now this is a reference, this is probably a reference to Fallout 3's um, teddy bear super mutant behemoth. Alright, so you just pick up the monkey and then out comes this guy. Woo! So no, he's not anywhere near here until you pick up the monkey. He just kind of pops up. Okay, our final super mutant will be here. Not there. Right there, Swan's Pond. So. Kind of east, northeast of uh, Diamond City. If you're walking the Freedom Trail, trying to find the railroad, you will find this guy. Unfortunately, he does not respond. So you could kill this behemoth one time. His name is actually Swan. So the behemoth. So there's a few behemoths that will respond. So if you don't feel like going out to all these obscure locations, you can just, you know, run missions, build your settlement, trying to get your happiness to 100. Good luck with that. Broken mm -hmm. system. And just wait until he, until the uh, wasteland resets, and then go back out and kill him again. So off the bat, there's already just doing the um, three missions, one with the um, Minutemen and two with Brotherhood of Steel. You've already knocked out three of the um, giant creatures you need to kill. So it's it's pretty it's pretty easy to do. See, a little broken water physics there. Swan's just kind of hanging out in this pond. I've already killed him, he doesn't respond. He just, there he is. This is him. He's covered in swan pieces, his, I think he's like, there we go, covered up one arm with the swan piece. He's got like a ton of swan pieces on him, which are great for blasting. Alright, YouTube, well that's all of the giant creatures locations that I have found if you know of any that I have not covered or have discovered yet please do leave a comment down below and I will add it in alright youtubers I hope this helped you get the harder they fall achievement for any of you looking for any more help don't forget to like subscribe leave, leave a comment on what you'd like me to do next and uh, stay tuned for our next video